Taking the thermostat out, one, two, three screws. 10 mil, of course. This is that size. They're probably all that size. Yeah, same size. And the last one. Ah, oh, the last one is a nut actually. Okay, I almost dropped it in the engine. That's it. It's got a gasket in there. That's the thermostat. I'll put all of these in a bag. That's it. No more fucking around. We're doing it. First, I'm removing these oil pipes. Carefully. This one moved a lot. It kind of bent it. I hope it didn't break or anything. Alright, screw number two. These are pretty tight. Ooh. I'm guessing that's an oil pump. It's like this. Water pump? This is stranger and stranger. Hey, what is this? By the looks of it, I think it's water. So that's a water pump. No way, man. These are actually water pipes. That's crazy. It's some white liquid. Next one. Here. Now I'll have to hold this pipe. Ah. Okay, that's out. And there's two more screws here behind these cogwheels is these ones one and two and then one and two I'm guessing this is what's in here but bigger yeah, cause that looks like a pump and this that's why the pressure was in here it's either that or something is clogged and shit didn't get cold in this cylinder and that caused the issue that could happen, I guess. Because these... I'm not sure if this is... an oil line or... I'm not sure. So, the last two screws... Open them up. There's one. And there's the other one. Stuff is coming out from here also, the same watery fluid is coming out from the other side also. This can be concerning. Alright, all the screws are loose. Have to remove the chain tensioner again. Put some gloves on. nice and pink gloves. In the manual, these are not there. I don't know what these are. So they're not in the manual. That is quite strange. It says just uh, unbolt these evenly, which I did. One thing that I will do is remove these pipes. 
Ooh, first. There are obviously pipes that have stuff going through them because this screw here see that hole the screw has a hole to let liquid in through it through the length of it and then out through the holes through these holes yeah see hollow shaft and then these holes here might be water going through this uh, when I'll put them back on, on in my spot I'm gonna put them geometrically how I took them off so the engine is like that that's the first screw of the first pipe so I'm gonna put it somewhere here like that this one seems to be shorter or no it's not it's the same okay and now this pipe should come off it doesn't there's an allen key there I'm guessing 5 mil yep man that's tight this used to be a spark plug key for my Peugeot 206 and now it's a breaker bar what the hell alright don't drop shit in the engine okay so that's the allen screw that's the pipe this is where it bended that's quite scary I'm gonna leave it like this, it's probably gonna bend back when I put it back. Okay, now for pipe number two. Man, this is tight, man. Fuck. Fuck off, man. Fuck off, man. Fuck off, man. I dropped the goddamn Allen key in the engine. Got an idea. This is long enough to reach it. And I have some neodymium magnet balls. Yeah, I think I might reach it with this. I got these. And uh, as I was walking, I thought of a way. I'm just gonna tape these, a couple of these on top, on the head here. I'll tape them so this magnet doesn't go deeper in or I don't know gets attracted by the chain or some shit Just stretch the tape enough it should hold it in there DIY magnet thingy here it is that's the screw right there all the way down there I got it I got it uh, yes, you bitch. <laughs> bitch. Now this chain is loose. In the manual it says you should remove the screws evenly. Because the cam is getting pushed by the valves. These bolts, of course, I'm going to put them exactly how I took them up. See, this shit here concerns me. Next one up. Yeah, see, this this one here, this one, is a different size, it's shorter, that one. These are the same length, this is shorter, probably, yeah, because the pipe is there, this pipe goes in there. That's how this looks. It's got one of these pins here, that comes off, careful. So on one of the long ones, oh no, on both, it's got pins, one just got stuck in here. So as you look at it, that's how it came, that's the pins on the far side. It's hard to grip, because the parts are full of oil, it's really hard to grip them. Now 
now that I know that the pins are there, I don't want to risk losing them. Ooh. Ooh. He came out. He came out. Alright. Same thing, one pin stayed in the thingy, one pin is in there. To remove stuff like this, you can get, you can use this and cloth. And gently take it out. I'll show you in a bit how, after dismantling, I've put all the screws in the same exact order. It seems like this cam is constantly pre still pressed by the valves. I'm gonna evenly take these out. One screw is like this. Whoa, the other screw is way longer. So the outside screw is really long. The inside screw is the same as the other ones. Alright, now this probably has those pins also. Yes, it does. It's got two pins, they stayed in the engine. I'm gonna take them out and put them in here. Same size. That's the second pin. Let's see, out of curiosity, if you drop these in the engine, let's see if they're magnetic. Yes, they are. Thank you, Japanese people. And now, the first cam, the intake cam, can come off. Let's see. Double checking, so there's no shit I can spring out. Nope. There's the cam. Putting it here as gently as I can. Remove the chain from it. And take it out. Right. Now when I'll take this second one out, I'll have to do something to this chain so it doesn't drop in the engine. This is how it looks. So for reference, this spiral is towards me. This spiral is towards the clutch, the, the clutch discs, yeah. This spiral here. And when I took it off, number two and R3 were on top, just for reference. Looks nice, man. All right, I'll take it off and put it exactly how I found it on my cloth here. First screw, normal. This one is the short one, same as that one. Okay, both pins stayed in the engine. These are the pins on the outside. And even with the cloth, it seems like I'm damaging them. My problem with leaving stuff like this is it's gonna get damaged or it's gonna get lost. This one is the size, that one is the same. And now for the little one, that's the little one. One pin in here, one pin in the engine. Screw number one, the long one, so the one to the outer side. There's the inner screw. Okay. Let's take this off. One pin in the engine. One pin in this. Let's take the pin out. There it is. Now I'll take a wire and tie this chain up. Thank God for cat 5, cat 6, cat whatever wire. Right, and now the exhaust cam is coming out. I'm looking at the wear of this, or the wear of the shims. There's no wear, man. This engine was new, why the fuck did it break so bad? I don't understand. I really don't understand. 
Everything's new. These shims are. There's no scratch on them. There's nothing wrong. Nothing. This one says EX here. When it's in position, the EX is on top and B. Uh, just out of reference, this channel here, this thingy here, is on the outer side. Right, now to remove the head, cylinder head, you have one screw, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve screws. I think that's it. Nothing on the outside, no. 14 mil. I'm gonna use this long one because I can use it with this, which is a bit more powerful. I'm pretty sure this is how you open it. The ones on the inside of the engine, they seem to be torqued less than the outer ones. There's some Allen screws also here, so I'm guessing I need to take those out also. They have some silicone around them, so I don't know. These are nuts, they're all the same. Every nut comes with a, a washer. My lovely assistant came with some amazing sandwiches. She's covering her face with the amazing sandwiches. Thank you very much. I'm gonna pause this to eat some sandwiches. It seems that these washers inside the engine are copper. Copper is not magnetic. So careful with that. There's this space in here. I don't know if you can see it, there's one here and one on the other side. It might be for this purpose. Okay, ah, and I need to remove these, these pipes before. By the way, this is how I laid out everything. In the exact same position I took it out. Even these screws, these nuts. 10 mil spanner. That's opening it. I'm just gonna put this back in there so I don't lose it. Okay, all the pipes are off. It's coming off. It's here under under this bolt there. There's a space. Yeah man, it's coming off. There's one more screw to this one. That's off, it looks like this. Because I took it from the front of the engine and that's the front of the engine, I'm just gonna put it like that there. Chain, chain guide thingy for um, demonstrational purposes. <laughs> it's like that. So this, this T side this T side is up, and this channel is towards the chain. Drum roll, please. Enough drum roll. Let's see what got so messed up. Okay. And it's off. The piston broke. The piston is bananas. There's a hole in the fucking piston, man. How did this happen, bro? That's the piston with a giant hole in it. How do you get a hole in a fucking piston, man? This is crazy. Now I need to remove this because it doesn't let me take out the head. A valve broke and that valve destroyed the cylinder. 
So that's the valve that broke. That's what caused the cylinder hole. So that's the cylinder with a valve inside. And that's the head. That valve seat looks like it never ever it's never ever gonna seal it doesn't matter what I do to it and this valve is bent also yeah why would a valve break man why the fuck would a valve break the shards are all the way in the engine that's fucking stupid man, that's fucking stupid. This created Chernobyl inside this <laughs> fucking cylinder. I really want to know why a valve breaks. Why did it break? Alright, carrying on with enthusiasm. I'll remove these oil pipes here. 14 mil socket. They're important to know, there are two pipes, this one is on top, the other one is at the bottom. Alright, there's a washer on the bottom, there's a washer between them, also, see that, that, and there's a washer where the screw is. Yeah, put some stuff in here and here it goes. So down right now. All right, to remove the cylinder, there's another hole here. And probably there's another hole on the other side. Now there's a water pipe going to the cylinder assembly, so I'll remove that. To remove the water pipe, 10 mil socket. I don't really know how to get to it. I think on the other one I need. So all of this is dry, yes, this is oily, it doesn't look as if oil came on it now when I removed the head, see what I mean, that's oily, that's not, actually to remove this water hose there's a clip here, you don't have to remove these screws. Let's see if I can budge the cylinder assembly. Try and use that hole again. <coughs> no. Yeah, in the manual it says remove cylinder from the crankcase. Use a cylinder disassembly tool if the cylinder cannot be easily removed god knows what's that they don't even show it here there's a there's an allen key here like a, a screw or a something 